Okay, welcome back. Um, I wasn't going to do another one of these today, but I think I might as well. So today, as you can tell, we're going to be writing the uh, the shader class. So we're just going to make that. Um, shader dot. Oh, I actually, don't call it shader. Actually, it's just shader. Um, and then we'll quickly go through how we're going to use it. So we want a constant character array um, called shaders slash shader dot vert, and then oops, go on that bit there, and the same thing for frag. What doesn't it like? Oh, it's not got a name. That's a bit silly, isn't it? I'm a bit tired. Right, that shader and frag shader. We're gonna have um, a shader called just shader one. We we call it, um, and we're gonna have a function that creates shader one dot create shader pass in the but shader and the frag shader. Um, we haven't created any of this yet. Yeah, that's why there's all squigglies. And that should be shader one, like that. And then straight afterwards, actually, we can just say shader one dot use shader. And I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll describe what these functions do uh, once we make them. So in the shader, we want to include, we want glad, we want um, std io, uh, that's so that we can call back, uh, well, uh, print to the console because we're going to need to be able to see if the um, if the uh, shader is actually compiling and stuff. Um, and this video I'm going to do slightly differently because uh, the, they're taking up a lot of time and I just want to make them at this point so that we can actually play with them in the future, in the future videos. Um, right, so, sh shader, um, constructor, and deconstructor. These are just going to, oh, we haven't put public. Public, and then under here, oh, private. GLUN shader ID. This is um, a bit like the addresses for the VAO, the VBO, and everything. This is basically an address. So, yeah. Um, and usually you'd also have uniform values in here as well. So we'll, we'll make one up. Uh, well, we can say we'll make one up. We'll have uniform model. Um, and we'll just have that for now. Um, shader. All right. We also want the create shader thing. We want that to be create shader from ours. Um, so we'll do that quick. Void create shader from files. We want uh, const character array for shader const. I'm a bit silly with my pointer today, sorry. Frag. Um. Okay. Um. I feel like there's something else we're going to need. I think we're going to need string. And we're going to need. Can't even spell include. We're going to need f string to actually locate the files and stuff. So down here we'll have uh, void compile. No need to call it compile shader, just call it compile. Um, what do we need to pass into that? We need to pass in the uh, vertex code and the fragment code. Um, create from string and 
this will be uh, string values in, I think. Let's do the string, that string. Hmm. I'll tell you what, we'll start with the create from files and go from there. So, create the constructor quickly, initialize the value of shader ID equals zero. The deconstructor will create, but we won't fill it up yet. Create from files and compile. Okay, so if we go over to the shader.cpp now. Oh, and uniform model we want as well. Uniform model. Mm, so create from files. Um, we're going to want another function in the shader called read file to pass back a string. I think that's why I started making the uh, um, the other function. Uh, so create from files read file, and we want the const cal god can't type today. Apologies. Um, uh, file location. This should be locations as well, really. I'll just copy this entire bit here and create this one. So we're creating that one. Then we'll pop back over to the CPP and change this bit here. So I'll create a shader from files. Um, right. So first of all, read std string vertex code equals ver no uh, read file ver shader location. And you're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing really because I'm not really explaining very much. And I apologise. Um, so what we what this is going to do so. We've got the shader locations here where they're going to be stored on in the uh, solution directory. No, the project directory, which is going to be, um, I'll tell you what, we'll just quickly make them. If we open up the folder location, new folder, and we want shaders, and inside the shaders we want two new text documents, just called with the extension. We want to change the extension. Um, what was the first one? Vertex shader dot. Um, but I think I call it. What do I call it? Just just shader block that actually. So shader dot that, and then we'll just what did I do? Oh okay. Apparently shift D delete stuff. Didn't know that. Shader dot that, and then copy that. Just sh shader dot frag and we'll populate the, this with information soon. Okay. Oops. Uh, I'll tell you what we could do as well. We could just quickly add a filter called shaders and add existing items to that. Go into shaders and add them in there. Uh, what I was doing before when I was making some shaders was just open them up in notepad but it's actually kind of easier to open them up in Visual Studio. Even though you don't get the IntelliSense you get the line number and stuff um, and it's just easier to keep it all inside really isn't it because you've got the tabs and that anyway um, so that's where these are going to be shader dot shaders forward slash shader dot but it's just this location for, for that so that's what we're doing we're opening up these files basically that's what we're going to be doing um, so pass the locations into here and in create from files we've got we're going to have a function that reads the file and returns the code Okay, and then we're going to pass the code into the compile function down here. Uh, but first, we need to also what vertex code equals uh, vertex. Hang on, we need to make another right const char. So this is actually going to be vertex string. Come on, string, const char, 
uh, vertex code equals vertex string dot c string, which converts the string into um, the, the basically this <laughs> constant char array, uh, character array. I'll we'll do the exact same thing for uh, fragment string, um, and then compile vertex code fragment code. Oh, I'll call it fragment string by accident. So that's all that function is doing in a nutshell. So now we need to make the read file thing. So we're going to have an std string called um, file. No, that doesn't need to be called file, does it? Uh, data content. And we're going to have an std string called line. Mm, I think I won't have that up there actually because we're going to have a for loop. <clears throat> this is what I'm doing this from memory from another thing I've, I've done um, in the past, which is why it's a bit all over the place. Um, but once we get to compile shaders, that's where it gets interesting. So we want to check if we can actually open the file location actually. So std f stream uh, file stream equals uh, hmm. I should do this bit again. Let's have a little look. So, input and output of the file stream class, iOS base, iOS, iOS stream, iOS stream, F stream. Mm -mm. We want this bit is open, but we also want to check if we can open it first. Uh, come on. Let's see what happens when we do OpenGL load shaders from the file. File name. If stream if stream file so all already I've got this wrong I think let's see what happens when we do this all right if stream don't think so std if stream yep file mm, let's call this file stream so we're a bit more aware of what's going on equals how have they done it Oh, they don't. They haven't done it, so it doesn't need to be equals. We just got a thing called file stream now, um, and then file dot open file name, and then the iOS dot n opens as x s d. So how do they know how to do that? Is there a better resource? Input file stream, output file stream. So we're using the IF stream. Mm -hmm. Public members. Right, let's have a look. Right. File stream dot, dot open. Oh, then we got file name, which is file location, comma, and then mode. Oh, come on. Um,
Team giving me the information I'm looking for. It's really annoying, actually. No, I don't want C sharp. Isn't that IF string? Oh, I'm an idiot, look. <laughs> it's IF stream, not just... I must have thought I called it because I'm an idiot. Looking at the wrong things. STD <laughs> stream IN. But what is that doing? I feel like it's meant to be something else. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at my other project quickly. See how I've done it before. Um, apologies because I won't be able to cut that very well. In fact, I won't be able to cut it. Why not load it? God, it looks funny outside. Right, so let's go to the shader. STD iOS in, but what is this doing? Oops. Oh, so annoying. Alright, so STD iOS in. What is iOS though? Oh, input output stream. So why does it need the ender? Mm, great. What was the other thing called? It was like it was. It's a binary, so in binary. It was like curl and curl in one there. File stream objects can be opened one or two ways. First, you can apply sub, uh, supply a file name along with the input output mode parameter to the constructor when declaring an object. If stream my file data bin iOS in iOS binary. So that's basically taken in binary there, and it's in, not out. Alternatively, after a file stream object has been declared, you can call this method. I'm not entirely sure. I should probably look a bit more into this stuff. So we're just going to use this exactly. So std iOS. What else is there actually? Just to be curious. Hmm. Right. While. Wow! It wrote the entire while loop then. If um, oh jeez, right, I'm gonna have to look at uh, the other project again because I'm just getting confused at the moment. Sorry. Which one was it? This one. I'm pretty sure it's like an if. So that's the file stream, and then if file stream is not open. All right. So if file stream. Well, not file stream dot is open. Uh, print f failed to open uh, shaders. We'll just shader. Um, I'll tell you what, because that's a constant. Uh, 
constant character away, we can do this as well. File location. And then return. Oh my god, return. Nothing. And then else, we want, I want to reference my other project. I think I will, you know, just to just to kind of make sure this works. Keep it open this time. Come on. Right, and then, yeah, then we want, to, let's see, I thought we needed the line outside. STD string line is that, and then uh, file not file stream dot and a file um, we want content hmm what have I done on this one oh yeah std get line um, file stream which is just file stream line and and what have I done in this one? Content.append, which is actually shader content.append. Um, so line plus backslash n, I believe. Yeah, that's exactly what I've done there. And then class stream close. Return content, and here we want to make sure that what we're doing is actually printing to the, the content. So, std see out uh, shader content doesn't like see out. I thought that was too. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll try this instead. Print F. Um, we're just going to literally pass in a string dot C string. See if that works. Uh, in order to make sure it's working, though, we're going to go. What are we doing? We're going to go to the shade of vert. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's going to be printed if we're uh, if we're lucky. Um, so we're creating the shaders, and in the create shader function, we're literally just doing that. So we'll, we'll stop that from happening as well. This is just to quickly test to make sure that everything's working. Yep. See, we're reading the file and printing it to the to the. Uh, uh, to the console so that's the read files part done I mostly built that built this actually I think this is literally just a copy from the course I took um, which I, I referenced in another video so I think that's in the where I learned OpenGL video so um, this part's still kind of confusing to me anyway We'll move on to the compile shader part. So we're passing in the vertex and fragment code. This part I know quite well, which is nice because I had so many problems trying to get it to work. So we're going to go shader ID equals G GL create shader program. Shader program. If I can just type shader create shader program. What? Maybe it's just create program. There we go. And that is literally just creating a program on the um, on the GPU. And if um, this is so unlikely to happen, but if not shader ID, then printf failed to create a shader program. Otherwise, we're going to make a GL unit called vertex shader equals uh, GL create vertex 
shader. No. GR create shader maybe. And then we want it to be of type GR vertex shader. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Because there's a chance that I'm not. <laughs> Specifies the type of shader to be created. Must be one of GL Compute Shader Vertex Shader. All right, there we go, that's what it needs to be. Fun stuff. Um, but what, does it return anything? It does, it returns a UN, so that is correct. And then if. Now we want to create the actual shader on the GPU, so. Rather than make a check, actually, I suppose we should check to make sure um, we uh, we have actually got the vertex shader. If it's not vertex shader, then um, this doesn't feel right. Let me check the other project quickly. Sorry about this. Huh. It is. Uh, it is right. So you got the shader source, the compile shader. Okay, let's go. So print f failed to create a vertex shader. Um, and then shader gr shader source. We're gonna so the shader type which is GL vertex shader. Wait, what? Why is it showing me information for the wrong function? GL shader source. Oh, it isn't. So we want the shader. Oh, my bad. Vertex shader. And the count, I suppose one. Specify the number of elements in the string, string and length of the array. Okay, so this is going to be. Uh, what is that going to be? Hmm. It can't be the size of. God damn it! Let's reference my other project again. I might as well just leave it open. I don't know why I keep closing it. I was right. One. I'm an idiot. One. Vertex code. But this doesn't. Why would you reference it though? It's like it's updating the vertex code. And then null at the end. And then GL compile shader. Uh, vertex shader. And then we want to have a int gl int. Uh, we're going to call it result. It's going to give us back the result of the uh, this video sucks. I apologize. It's making 512. So the result is going to be the result of this next function that I call, which is GL uh, shader IV, what's it called? GL get shader IV, there we go. And we want uh, the shader, which is going to be vertex shader, the name, GL compile status, and the parameters, which is and result, I believe. Let's have a reference to see if I got that right. Yeah, shader IV. Yeah. If result equals is not equal to what would I put here then? GL false. So yeah, if result equals GL false. Print F. Failed to compile vertex shader. Since S, we want the log. Oh. 
oh, we're getting the log without, we're passing in the log, log there without anything. So above that, we want gl get shader log info log. Uh, gl, no, perfect shader. Um, buff size, 512. Length, what? Oh, no. And the log. Right, next one, if, oh, no, next one, all we're going to do is basically copy this whole bit here and change it to fragment shader, gl, fragment shader, first initialize fragment shader there, fragment, fragment, uh, we don't need to initialize these again. No need. Oops. Now then we just need to link the shaders. So GL add shader. Nope. What we're done here. Uh, oh, look, I compile the shaders down here instead. Wait, I'll compile them twice in that one. Oh, that's an error. There's a compiling right there. The vertex shader is compiled as well. So this is uh, this is the other project. Uh, but we'll go back to this one. So we want to. Attach, that's it, GL attach shader, and we want the shader ID, which is what we did at the start, vertex shader, and then we want to attach the uh, fragment shader to the shader program. And then underneath that, we've got uh, GL link program. Shader ID, and then down here we go if, well, we get GL get shader IV, and we come on, G, GL get shader IV. Uh, the shader ID, um, GL link status, and the result, which needs to be a reference. If uh, result equals gl false, then printf failed to uh, failed to link shaders and, and pass in the log there as well, so we get the log quickly. Oh god. Um, so gl get shader info log is right there. Shader ID uh, buffer size is five one two. Length null and log. Okay. And then right at the bottom. Oh, actually, first we want to gl get a uniform location. Yeah, there we go. Nice one. Shader ID and then we put in the character name of the uniform, which in our case is called uniform model, but we're just going to call it model. And we need to assign this as well. So uniform model equals, yeah, so this is going to be the, the location of this information. And we'll use that in a minute. Um, then finally, gl delete shader, gl delete shader, uh, vertex shader. GL delete shader fragment. Oh, I don't know why I didn't just. Come on. Oh, I'm being such an idiot today. There we go. 
um, I'll probably redo these tutorials in better in a better way over Christmas or something when I've got more time. At the moment, I'm just kind of rushing through them, and uh, I'm a bit over overworked, if, <laughs> as you can uh, as you can probably tell by the fact that these videos aren't great. Right. Let me think then. So we do. Uh, this doesn't actually delete the shaders. It marks them for deletion. So once the shader ID is finally not used, then we then we delete them. And that means up in the deconstructor, we need to say if shader ID is not equal to zero, then uh, the gl delete shader. So delete program shader ID. Okay, so. Right now we've got no code in the shaders, so uh, this isn't going to work. Um, it might draw, but who knows? Chances are it won't. Just wanted to check that I didn't miss anything. So we've got shader by H. We're creating from the thing, reading file, compiling, and they're all doing what they should be. So we've got use shader there. I didn't make use shader, did I? Use shader. I haven't even got it. Deployed use sh shader. It should just be use really, but this is inside the shader. There's no need to call it shader again. Um, GL use program shader. Maybe. Done. So that should be. It should at least come up with a debug saying that there's no information in the shaders or something. Yeah, that failed to link shader. <laughs> and we're still printing the shaders out, so let's quickly write them. Um, so we'll go into the shader.vert. And now I should probably stop here and write, uh, and write in the shaders uh, in a new video, considering this one's nearly 40 minutes. And uh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I'll do it in the next video.